Hello everyone! Welcome back to Reading with Leanne. We're going to read the book Mr. King's Castle. This is by Genevieve Cote. So looking at the cover of the book, we have a very happy king! So over here, he's in his castle made of green. Looks like a lion. Let's open up our books and see what this is about. <gasps> Mr. King lives on top of a big hill. He wants to build himself a big castle. Mr. King likes big things. <gasps> so he's with his shears. Mr. King starts chopping off blocks to build his castle. He is too busy to notice the big holes he is leaving behind. Chop, chop, chop. <gasps> so you see, this hole is made to make these pillars. That hole is made to make the roof. This hole is made to make the walls. Lots of holes in the ground. His castle is becoming taller. Chop, chop, chop. Mr. King's friends come running. What is that noise? What are these holes? What are these blocks? So over here, we have a moose, a fox, a bunny, a bear, squirrel, owl, they're looking around. What's going on? Mr. King is too busy to hear them. Block by block, bit by bit, his castle is getting bigger and bigger. Mr. King chops until there is nothing left to chop and builds until there is nothing left to build with. He stops and proudly looks out the window. Hmm. 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 There isn't much of a view, says Mr. King. Look at his castle, it's huge. But the green, green hill, it's gone. Down below, his friends are grumbling. Happened to the hill? asked Bert and Tex. What happened to my favorite napping spot? says Harriet the owl. Where are the flowers? wonders old Jim Elk. Oh, it's an elk. Sorry, I called it a moose earlier. <gasps> what happened to the grass I eat? asks PJ. Where is our secret stash of nuts? cries Skit and Scat. So their homes are ruined. One by one they gather under the castle window. Everyone is staring at Mr. King. And suddenly he feels very small. Uh-oh. That was a big mistake, he says, after a while. Maybe I should put everything back. Yay! All of his friends jump up to help. Together, they start taking down the big castle, block by block, bit by bit. It's like a puzzle, a triangle here, rectangle here, and block by block. Bit by bit, they put everything back just like it was before. Well, almost like it was before. There's one piece left, says Mr. King, but I don't see where it fits. What shall we do with it? After whispering to the others, Tex says, Close your eyes. We have an idea. So, look, their home looks back to normal, right? Skit and Scat have the spot where they bury their nuts. And look at Harriet. Harriet has her nesting spot back. So what are they going to do with the last block? 
When Mr. King opens his eyes, his friends sing out, Surprise! <gasps> Ooh la la! Hooray! <laughs> the squirrels toss their nuts and grass. Tonight, in his small castle, Mr. King is going to have a big party. So he did get the castle in the end, right? You can have what you want without ruining it for everyone. This was such a cute story. I hope you enjoyed it. This was called Mr. King's Castle by Genevieve Cote. Thank you so much for reading along with me.